It gives me real pleasure to introduce this next segment. You're about to see the story reel that was constructed in London by Richard Purdom, Jill Purdom, the entire artistic team that went to London to begin the steps of Beauty and the Beast. It's an extraordinary achievement. There's some fantastic things about it. And we share it with you so you see where the project started and where it finished. Enjoy it, it's a real treat. Once there was a widowed merchant who had a beautiful home and many fine ships sailing the seas. Through love and kindness, he raised his two young daughters alone. Someone's coming. Well, not quite alone. <laughs> I load around the back. Hey, ah! Idiot. be lonely in that big house, brother dearest. So I'm moving in to help you with the children. Could you pay the coachman, Maurice, dear? But soon after, tragedy struck. Maurice lost his ships at sea, and with them, his fortune. Giddy up, Orson. Oh, come on, giddy up. Uh, use the whip, Maurice. So, they began a new life in a humble cottage in the country. That hovel? Where do you think I'm going to put all my things? Orson, a steady. Whoa. Wow. Oh, look, Clarice, a kitty. <laughs> Happy birthday, Belle. This was given to your mother on her 17th birthday. Father. Wind it up. Wind it up. It was mother's. Yes. And now I want it to be yours. <laughs> Sir, it seems as though you've forgotten something. Uh, yes? What? To pay your taxes. Oh, you'll get your money. I'll need time. Well, it's the money or this house and that nag over there. We can't take Orson, Papa. <sighs> now we've lost everything. No, Father, don't say that. You always told us to look a little closer and see things aren't as bad as they seem. You've got me, you've got Clarice, and Charlie. I knew you would land us in the poorhouse. Marguerite, what do you expect me to do? It's either sell the music box or Belle must marry someone rich. <laughs> There's no other way. You must sell it, Papa. It's all that's left. No, Belle. No, it, it, it's your birthday present. You could give me another present. If you see one, I'd love a rose. Oh, very well. I'll go now and be back tonight. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to sell it. Smart move. Idiot. Oh, we must do something about your hair. If you marry a rich suitor, we'll have servants again and live in a castle. It'll be a life of luxury. Who do you suggest, Marguerite? Gaston Legume. The Marquis again? He's very handsome 
and rich. He should be here any minute. Any minute? Belle's got a suitor. <sighs> Clarice. Think about your father and Clarice. Aren't they entitled to a better life? And me, after all I've sacrificed for this family? Yes, that's very nice of him. Yes, perhaps you'll ask him to dance. Come on, sweetie. How about a little time with me? Come on up. Gaston, how wonderful of you to come. Go right in. Good afternoon, Gaston. Ah, there you are. How are you today? Exhausted from all this waiting. Come, come, sit, sit, sit. I want to see something. We'll have to do something about those clothes. Hmm, but a stylish wig? I'd say you were made for me. So, have you thought about it? I'm very... Flattered, Gaston, but this is a big step. Gaston! How kind of you to come! Hello, madam. Go on, go on. And you hardly know me. <coughs> really, madam? May I have a word? My, but you look handsome today. Is that a new wig? Oh, do you like it? Oh, the color suits you. Has my niece given you an answer? Not yet. I think she's playing the coquette with me. Forgive her. She's shy around someone of such high rank and noble bearing. Uh, I understand. Um, she needs more time. Your niece is trying my patience, madam. However, she's the only girl in the land who looks perfect on my arm. Let me speak to her. <sighs> I grow tired of this game. Will you come back tomorrow? Perhaps. Isn't he handsome? Yes. But that doesn't matter. I'm not in love. Now we have nothing. Lose our home. Where will we go? What will we do?
What is it, Orson? What's wrong? <gasps> Wolves! Run, Orson, run! They're closing in. I didn't know there was a castle in these parts. Look, why, it's spring here. How is that possible? Who lives here? Look, the fellow with the light. Hello, sir. Magnificent. Hello? G gave me a start. Hello? 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 Hmm? Oh, of course, thank you. Servants. Oh, there you are. Wait, sir. Hello? Are you here, sir? Is that you, sir? Are you playing a game with me? Really, this is too much. Sir? 
must have missed him again. <laughs> mm, that smells wonderful. Awful lot of clocks in this place. Why, thank you, wherever you are. You're awfully fast on your feet, sir. Hmm. Needs a taste of salt. Uh, last we meet. Delirious, or maybe someone's toying with me. <laughs> well, two can play at this. They're all enchanted. Astounding. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Mmm, <laughs> superb. I thought I'd have to eat alone. Mmm, delicious. Well, if this was a dream, mmm, it was very tasty. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Nice doggy. <laughs> Good boy. got lost in the storm? I'm sure he'll be here soon. Are you two still up? <sighs> it serves him right for running off and leaving me with you two girls. Now go to bed. <laughs> 